Jexit. You may not have heard about it, but this group of pro-Trump and pro-Israel supporters want you to take them seriously. They are calling upon American Jews to join their Republican ranks and turn their back on the Democratic Party, whose members, they say, are not calling out anti-Semitism and anti-Zionism. But their mission might be hampered by one cold fact. In the 2018 midterm elections, Democrats captured 80 percent of the Jewish vote. When we see these debates about Israel policy, a lot of what's happening is that the Republican Party is looking at Israel as a potential wedge issue to try to peel Democrats who want to vote for a liberal domestic agenda to peel them off of the Democratic Party and move them to the Republican column. After previously calling the Democratic Party anti-Jewish and anti-Israel, President Trump tweeted a quote from another right-wing and pro-Trump group, Jexodus, urging Jewish millennials to leave what they say is the anti-Semitic left. There is, and, and I don't want to sugarcoat it, there is a debate in the Democratic Party about how to deal with Israel, how to talk about Israel and anti-Semitism. But that doesn't mean people are leaving the Democratic Party. Organizers at a demonstration last week were hoping to attract some 400 people for their first Jexit rally. Two of their top targets are U.S. Representatives Ilan Omar of Minnesota and Rashida Tlaib of Michigan. Both came under fire for their criticism of America's strong support of Israel and for the state's influence in Washington, including the largest pro-American Israel lobby, AIPAC. In a bid to calm the controversy over Congresswoman Omar's remarks, the House passed an anti-hate measure that some Republicans say is not condemning anti-Semitism strong enough. Therefore, we are calling upon our government leaders to repeal and rewrite the H.R. 183 resolution to include consequences if this behavior continues. We no longer will tolerate the few congresswomen that are inciting this kind of hate. Some of the speakers at the Jexit rally went as far as accusing these elected officials of supporting the U.S.-designated terrorist organization Hamas. Rashida Tlaib and Ilhan Omar stand with Iran and Islamic terrorists. If you do not like America, Congressman Omar, please leave. If you think that Somalia is a better country, then go back. I'll pay for the flight. But according to Joel Rubin, Israel is not a voting issue for most American Jews who, he says, make a distinction between anti-Semitism and criticism of Israel. And this is where it gets to the key point with Ilhan Omar. Uh, they're making statements that are then being portrayed as anti-Semitic because they're critical of Israel. And that hasn't yet been sorted out. But that doesn't mean mm -hmm. that being anti-Israel definitively means that you're anti-Semitic, not in the American context. Munir al Hamoud, I-24 News, Washington.